Right, how are we doing ladies and gents? So today we are on our way and something different today. So just gonna go back. And we are going to be flying an A320 fly-by-wire. A lot of people have been requesting that I uh, jump in the fly-by-wire. And so I have. And as we're heading off up to Norway, I've jumped in the thin air and alongside me is my colleague Adam. Good afternoon Adam. Good afternoon. And Adam will also be in an A320. Uh, what livery are you supporting? Because obviously we can't see it but... Uh, SAS. Yeah there you go, he's going to be flying SOS, no, SAS. So plane is ready for departure. So I'm going to go straight into it, uh, as usual guys, I've set the plane up ready to go. So first things first, let's call the pushback tug. And let's go. And fingers crossed this uh, sim doesn't give us any issues. Um, don't generally do much recording in Microsoft Flight Simulator because I don't get the frames. That I get in um, explain get me words out in a minute right so he can start pushing us back so we can now go ahead and set our strobes on our beacons on our wing lights on and our navigation light set the APU up let's get the APU firing up so we can come off external power seatbelt signs can come on Um, maybe if I can get the other one to join in for good for good measure. Let me turn that one off for a minute so I can get to this other one. There we go. Oh, um, that all up nicely. And get our overhead lights on. Nice. We'll just wait for the APU to fire up. And then we'll disconnect from external power. Let's lock the back doors up. Which we have done. That's locked us in. And as soon as the APU has given us all of clear, we'll disconnect from the ground power. And then we'll start our pushback. Uh, this is episode 4 guys. So we've already got 3 episodes under our belt. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button guys. Lots more episodes coming your way as we attempt to go around the world. Uh, and I've introduced more planes into that scenario now uh, so it won't just be the 737-800 it will be other planes as well including the, uh, the 320 and we may do some 752s we may do some CRJs whatever works for that neck of the woods so tomorrow's one will be a CRJ uh, light right pushback tug's good We've got clearance from the APU. Let me just check that to make 100% sure. APU, APU, I just want to make sure, yep, it is available. So we can now disconnect our ground power and not lose everything in power in the plane, which would seriously not make our day. Okay, let's get the pushback tug going, release the parking brake, and let's go. Start that pushback. Okay, I'm going to jump outside to see the pushback. The outside sounds are really loud, sorry guys. I'll turn the uh, outside sounds down for you. As is the norm, I'm steering the tug with my rudder pedals. Flight time on this one is approximately one hour. One hour flight time on this one. You can push back if you want. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you can go out in front of me if you want for a change, Adam. I'll follow you out. I'm always out first, and I think it's right occasionally we switch it around. That way the viewers can watch as you take off. Uh, 
have across your friend here. That would be my advice. do us for the old pushback. So we'll stop the pushback. Clear off the pushback. Jump back in the cockpit and watch as our colleague reverses. Oh, so that's all good. anything we don't need to. David, did you find out what the initial climb is? Didn't. Oof. I'm going with 5,000 then. Usually the initial climb, isn't it? Yeah, 5 or 6. No. Uh, right. So, flaps 2. Oh, it couldn't be me, the flaps aren't working. Oh, I know why. They are working, but just not on this quality. You want flaps one for takeoff, do think? Okay. Yeah. Flaps one. Speed brake to arm. Okay. Okay, parking brake is off. Do you know what? I'm sitting. Up to wait, wait, wait. <laughs> do you know what I've forgotten to do? What? Start the engines. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't be yeah, me. That, that would help. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking. What's happening here? Like nothing's happening, and realising I haven't even got the engines on. Yeah, you're not going to get the bar just the APU. No. Okay. Good start on engine two. waiting for it to say available and then we will start engine number one great sound effects on this plane now mm. Okay, that's all good. Let's go ahead and start engine number two. Uh, somebody, engine number one even. Stay in the plane for the engine number one because it's got some great interior sounds. Engine number one firing up. Got our taxi lights on. Everything else looks good. Just waiting for engine number one to come up and say available, and then we'll turn off our APU.
Oh, plane's moving on its own. Couldn't be me. Right, set the parking brake. Stop the plane moving off as it on its own. Uh, let's just check these flaps now. No, they're still not working. That's something I need to work on. Okay. Right, that's good. Okay. You can start taxiing now. Right, let's turn off the APU. We no longer need that. Okay. And we'll start taxiing to the runway. My rudders do not respond as fast as they do in the other one. I don't know why. I have to use the uh, yoke to steer as well. Oh, right, okay. I don't know if that's a setting I need to turn on so that they just respond to the... To the uh, pedals, I don't know. You know where you're going, yeah? Yeah, I went a bit wide there. You look like you're turning round. Um. Okay. I don't know think there's anything in the settings for making it. Let's have a look. Aircraft configuration. Yeah, steering with my um, thingy. Oh, look. Uh, I want to see if there's anything in here to allow me to steer with my pedals. I'm sure there is, and I'm sure someone in the comments will say, you need to do this. Uh... I'm not seeing anything, so I don't know. Uh, we can turn down the engine noise a bit now. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I can't see anything that suggests... That's... Yeah. Nope, I can't see anything, so we're just gonna steer with me yoke. Cool, not to worry. No biggie. Right, let's put uh, the yoke camera on. And the throttle camera. There we go. And we'll steer with the yoke cam. Okay. Now, where did you go? Oh, uh, we'll just at the holding point now. Alright, just hold there for me because I stopped while I was trying to figure this out. Okay. Where is the turning point? Did we come out the wrong way? Uh, you should have followed me. <laughs> You've gone onto the service ramp there, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm turning around and coming back again. Remember, I've got maybe a different map to you, so that might have also be some part to play with it. Okay, let's get the parking brakes set. I uh, imagine your auto brakes not setting. No, see, it's needing both there to turn. Uh, okay. Cabin signs are on. Just need to do a cabin check. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Oh, that's nice. 
but I can't get the auto brakes to go to maximum. And as usual, the planes are accelerating way too fast. And yeah, I'm in like I'm in idle. Yeah, I have to brake a lot when I'm taxiing. Yeah, this is taxiing way too fast off on idle. That needs a bit of a uh, work around uh, work to be fixed there, I think. Uh, let's turn the cast on. Oh my God! Look, you take your eyes Ooh. off it. Yeah, you see yeah, what I mean? I saw you then. <laughs> Take your eyes off it for just a second, because I was setting the TCAS, and the plane's doing all kinds of weird and wonderful things. Look, look at this, look. Because it's, it's getting that information from both things, and now it's just stopped itself. And I don't know why. I didn't set anything. And now the plane's completely come to a stop. Oh, no, we're moving again. <laughs> and I still can't get just, the parking uh, brakes on. You just out of practice on this. Yeah, I've come to get expect something better. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Because my 319 and 320 would not be doing all this weirdness. Right, okay. You can taxi onto the runway now. Yeah, there's okay. currently a, a plane on the runway for me. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, like, I'm literally full steer there, and it's, it is kicking in, but it's like, maybe it needs calibrating or something, I don't know. And I can break with them, but, yeah, the parking brakes. Right, let's go outside to watch as our colleague taxis onto the runway. I used to have a button binded to the parking brake so I could taxi from outside, but I ain't got that at the moment. I have to do a lot of setting up with this plane. Okay. Okay, Alright, one second, let me come around this bend and then I'll put you as you take off. Oh my good lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's steering on both things. Right, go on, go, go, go. I've kept you waiting long enough. Before, before I pull out in front of him. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> I'll wait for him to, to land in his uh, A320. Let's see what he's flying, guys. See if I've got his livery. I don't have a lot of liveries. And if I was on Vatsim, I'd be able to see a hell of a lot more. But don't be surprised if this is just another A320 Neo looking. Surprise, surprise it is. <laughs> and then he disappeared. Yep, that's different. Oh, there he is. He's come back on the runway. Right, cool. Right, let's taxi onto the runway. Okay. Do you want to Yes, indeed. Okay. Right. Wish me luck on this takeoff. I've got lots of controls here working against each other here, so... 
only knows what's going to happen when we start actually going down this runway. Okay. Right. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. There we go, and pull back. Landing gear can come up. Level off. Oh. Autopilot can come on. Back into climb. Wow, that blew my ears. Okay. I've reached 5,000 feet. Um, laps clean. Okay. We've still got this TCAS thing. What's it say? Traffic only. There we go. I've done it now. Just telling me I wasn't on traffic uh, on TCAS. What altitude are we going to? Uh, I'm going to 38,000. Okay. Currently at 6,000. Okay. Uh, just until we get out of the uh, airport airspace. Coolie coolies. Okay, guys. So we're in the climb. Everything looking good. I'll turn these off now. We can enjoy the flight more. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, tell me now, after we've taken off. So the initial climb was 7,000. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's over to standard. Until you get to ZR, and then you can climb. Okay. It's kind of fun being back in the A320 by fly by wire. I just got to uh, fix a few uh, little uh, issues with the turning and what have you, but other than that. Scenery looks fantastic. Yeah, and imagine that scenery being free. I'm loving all these new displays that they've got on this plane. So quality. So many of them working now, it's so cool. Oh, you've climbed already? Yeah, I, I just hit the button. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, you're going to fly past me then. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Oof.
Still climbing at the moment. I'm only at 15,000. I've been a good boy following the charts. Bloody expert. <sighs> I should have put the constraints on, that way it would have followed it out correctly. Well, there's actually no constraints on the... Can you, are you able to hit your auto brake buttons? Uh, yeah. I can't do anything with mine. Yeah, because you're supposed to set it to max before you take off. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It was working now. It was into being interfered with. With my switches on my uh, Airbus Thrustmaster. That's working now. We've got we got auto brakes for the landing at least. Gonna make the braking a bit more fun trying to land with my already imperative issues that I already have. You're almost directly above me now. Am I really? Yeah, because you'll be going way faster than me. Yeah, but then I can watch you land, can't I? Oh my god, you go outside the plane and the noise is horrendous. Whoa! How the hell do I turn that down? Let me see if this does it on the tablet, because that is really loud. That is, like, really loud. Interior, engine interiors, exterior engine, and exterior master volume. Try turning that down. Because I want to be able to go outside and not get absolutely destroyed by my ears. Right. Let's try that. If that's no better. No, it's no better. Woof. That's, that is not changing the sound in, at all. Hmm. So what was the point in this sounds being put on the tablet? Oh, okay. Separate tiller from rudder inputs. I wonder if that should have been switched on. Hmm. Separate tiller from rudder inputs. I'll try that and see. I've only just spotted that. Right, just gonna go and turn those sounds down in the sim, guys. Because at the moment I've got you turned down because to protect your ears, effectively. But let me just go in and turn the sounds down because they are really too loud. Uh, yeah, look at this. Whoa, aircraft engines. Let me just turn them down. So otherwise we can't go outside, as it were. Let me try turning these down. Okay. Uh, other aircraft definitely turn that down. Uh, right, let's try that. Apply and save. And resume. Alright, now let's see if I can go outside without us getting absolutely ear destroyed. Uh, it's a little bit better. It's not a lot. I think it needs to come down more. Talk, Adam. Hello? Yeah, so you can barely pick you up. Hold on. <laughs> We're always missing much. Hold on. Let me turn these aircraft engines down. And this master volume. Apply. It's got to be making some difference somewhere. Yeah. That's better. Now speak, Adam. Hello. Yeah. And now we can hear you. And they can hear me over the engine sounds. Oh, did you say I've probably overtaken you now? Uh, you have overtaken me, yeah. Let's have a look, see if I can find you. I've got a lot of people's tags, but I can't see yours. 
No, I can't see yours anymore. That's how far away you are from me. It's <laughs> <laughs> about right, isn't it? I'm still at 7,000 doing 250 knots. So. Oh, are you? Yeah, because I've not left the... Um, quite noise baiting and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I was very naughty then. Just how how it would be in the real world. I'm up at 28,000. Yeah. But like I said, at least this way I get to watch you land because I've got I've got uh, what's the name mode now. So new cruise altitude 38,000. Is that telling me that, or am I meant to be telling it that? Yeah, that's the one on me. We're in the climb. And then cruise, yeah, so everything looks alright. Uh, 312 miles to go, so not too far. Uh, we can probably work out our arrival, uh, which says uh, we will arrive. Uh, if you go through all this, wow! Arrival time 1414, uh, and our current time is uh, no idea. About 45 minutes going by roughly speaking 45 minute flight. I'll put the constraints on so at least it comes in correctly. I can see you underneath me. <laughs> the stig is below us, guys. Yes, I can see you now. I'll be back in a second, I'm just gonna get my lunch. I do the same. Are you doing the same? Yeah. Yeah. Right guys, we'll be both back in a minute and we're gonna go and get our lunch. So chill, relax and enjoy the music for now.
back. We were talking about crazy cat women earlier. Well, the women in my life are definitely crazy cat women. <laughs> Anna's mum's terrible. I've just called her asking the cat if it wants to go and buy some bacon. Well, nothing of course. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Boy Edward, should we go and buy some bacon? Shall we? Should we go and buy some bacon? Oh my god. She doesn't give it to the cat full stop, but I don't know why she's telling the cat. No. Just just insanity. Yep. Yeah. Dip my crust in, I've got some reggae reggae sauce. How much did you put in? Oh. Yeah, you won't have them, because the default amount in the plane is like three tons. Five tons. You have to. Uh, I 
know I'm cruising, I'll be all right. It's just the, the initial climb, it uses all the fuel. I mean, yeah, so it's cross feeding from the outer tanks. Yeah, that's not a, as long as it's green, it's fine. <laughs> I'm currently burning 40 kilograms a minute, so I'm fine. Uh, you press the fuel button, and then where it says FOB, fuel on board, above that it says F flow 1 and 2. That's fine. So you don't just like idle and then all, all the way down, you might have to throttle up again at some point. Oh yeah, he'd be running on fumes probably. most of my time in this light deck so oh yeah yeah descent soon. No. No, I haven't worked that out. I just start descending when I feel like it's appropriate. Yeah. Hmm. Landing performance. E G G M, I think it is. That's the one. No idea what the run rate slope is or the uh, distance. Runway head in zero one nine.
now where am I heading? No, zero one nine. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, the runway heading, is the runway number, isn't it? No, I didn't. No, I said zero one nine. We're flying into nineteen. Runway nineteen, right? Aren't we? Your descent about 110 nautical miles before target, it says. Yeah. H is 991. Temperature is zero degrees. I need some anti ice. Wind is 180 degrees at 10 knots. Two degrees. You want three degree angle. Yeah. Minus three degrees, obviously. Well, 
there are some constraints on the on the screen, but I don't know if it actually obeys them. I made 110 nautical miles at 3 degrees at micro and altitude and speed. Obviously your altitude and speed might be different to mine. Okay guys, we're starting our descent into Oslo. We have got constraints on. Uh, just want to check. Yeah, we need to be at flight level 120 by GM447. Yeah, we're not making that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, oof. We're not making that in a million years. And it's not giving me, not yet implemented, it's not giving me the option to hold. Oh lordy, oh lordy. Uh, I need to hold like, like, like anything. Uh, not yet implemented, there's no holds available in this plane. Oh no. Oh, you'll have, no. you have to do a manual heading select. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'll keep the descent on for now and we'll see how we go. But we are descending at 2,000. Well, three degrees is about 2,400. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're down to 36,008. I don't think that's going to cut it. I'm just going to try bringing it down myself to 3,000. I think the maximum you can come down is about 3,000 and then the passengers would feel uncomfortable. So, let's bring it down at 3,000 and see what happens. If anyone says anything, we'll just say we're descending quickly for the skiing results. <laughs> My word. For the we're, we're getting ready for the Winter Olympics by coming in very fast. <laughs> However, the Winter Olympics is currently in Beijing, so a bit far away. A bit far away. Let's have a look. I'm thinking we're going to get a bit little flex here on the old. Uh, yeah. Was boffing about a bit there. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. 28,000 and dropping like a stone. Let me guess, Starbucks. A, a nice three degree angle oh. from the correct position. Oh, okay. You're coming in at a nice two degrees or three degrees? Three degree angle. Yeah, well that's what I'm doing. <laughs> in the attempt to try and catch, catch my air. I mean, a minute ago we were thinking that we were going to run out of fuel, now we're just going to run out of runway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I ain't running out of fuel, you might. <laughs> uh, the fuel capacity at the moment, no, we're still alright, we've still got over 2,000 kilos of fuel. Yeah, it should be okay. Hmm. Now I think we're going to be alright on the altitude as well, to be honest. Because I'm already down to 27,000. Yeah. I think we'll be, be okay. alright. I'm at 30, but I'm a bit... <coughs> Imagine being used to VNAV to do all your stuff for you. And that's the issue, isn't it? Yeah. I have VNAV in everything I fly in X-Plane, and that's still not properly implemented in this sim. This is why... Um, 18 months life, in. This is why real-life pilots always do things manually, because if they rely too much on the systems... Yeah. 
get too lazy. You get lazy. Well, it's not lazy, it's just complacent. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I'm not saying you're complacent, Paul. <laughs> saying in the real world, that's what happens with pilots. Yeah. I'm very complacent. Oh, I just got to keep an eye on this flight plan. The scenery looks fantastic. It does. I mean, we're at 9,000 for a hell of a long time, which I'm looking at. A hell of a long time we're at 9,000. I'm not so sure why we're at 9,000 for so long. I can only imagine it's because of the terrain. Yeah, because it is a bit hilly, isn't it? Yeah. So a bit fjordy, a bit Norwegian. I'm going to set that altitude to 9,000, actually. Um, I think we're going to be all right. I feel a lot happier when we get below. Um... 200 and just coming up to 20,000 feet now. Um, gonna invite the speed brake to get involved in our sim. Yeah, I've just done the same thing. <laughs> Imagine it don't do anything in my with my controls, so I have to literally pull it in. Oh yeah, that that made the plane a bit jittery. Just to pull the plane back a bit, slower down. Still descending at 3,000, so yeah. in Norway. Oh, there's plenty of that. Reminds me of uh, Canada a bit. You're going to insult this country as well? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad to say about Norway. <laughs> uh, just, or maybe you did a girl from Norway for a short amount of time and she was uh, extremely neurotic and crazy, but uh, that's not a reflection on the entire Norwegian population, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't want to. I kind of want to extrapolate on the, what what you mean by neurotic, uh, <laughs> because I've heard some things, and I'm wondering if it's that you're that you're referring to, in which case not suitable for the stream, or just a yeah. bit crazy. No, yeah, that's what you're thinking of. And yeah. Oh, oh wow. Neurotic is a very polite way of putting it. <laughs> Psychotic like should have been a better word, actually. <laughs> so you're politely saying in your own little way, she wore you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> to be young and able to be in that position, eh? I'm just worn out waking up. <laughs> <laughs> God. Anyway, guys, let's get back to flying, shall we? Now that we've established that the Norwegians are... Uh... <laughs> no, I didn't say the Norwegians. I said one Norwegian. <laughs> I happen to have another Norwegian friend who's a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure even your the ex-girlfriend was nice. It's just, it's just a Shout bit hyperactive. Timothy. Shout out to <laughs> Timmy Berg, if he ever watches this, which he probably won't. We're not into sending. Oh wow. Well, let's bring back the speed to 220 now. My eyes are literally watering here at this stage. Oh. We're coming down so steep that I can't, I can't swim the plane now. <laughs> <laughs> My god, yeah, I can see you in front of me right down there now. Oh my god. Uh. I think you must be doing about 300 knots. <laughs> yeah, 207. <laughs> 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 I'm doing a um, nice 250. But to be fair, I did get it down. That's what she said. Well, the constraints where you are about 220 knots, I think. There we go, and I'm now leveling off the plane. So we did get it down, guys, to the 9,000 that we needed. Oh God. So we're going to get some great, great views now as we uh, 
circle round to come via Tiller. Um, and almost pull that speed brake in. I'm going to have to set up a lot of my controls that are not doing what they're supposed to do. And I'm pretty sure the Airbus thing is meant to be able to do a lot more than it's currently doing. So yeah, you'll have to do some... Uh, I'm going to have to do some manual like setting up, yeah. Sure hop. Well, it's not so much the short hop. I need to set things up so I'm not having to do them so much in the plane. If that makes sense. Like, I... To put the speed brake out, I've had to literally look at the speed brake and touch it. Oh yeah, well, I do that. Yeah, but I've got... I'm used to it. Got... <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> I've got the Airbus system and it, it should do it all. You just gotta, you've just you got to program speed. it. Yeah, I know, right? you just got to program it all. We're getting some great views now. Very snowy down there. Uh, wow. So tomorrow, guys, we will be SA, uh, SAS in a CRJ as we hop over to uh, Sweden, Stockholm. And then yeah, we'll be off to Helsinki. They've got a sail on at all times in IKEA, haven't they? Sorry, it's not pronounced Ikea, is it Ikea? <laughs> Are you taking the piss again? Well, um, that's how the Swedish pronounce it, Ikea. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, well, so... That's what it says on the adverts, anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go with that. So, next altitude drop will be to 5,000 feet, so... We're all good. <laughs> And that will be at Tiller. So we will set our altitude to 5,000 feet. Set that and hope that the plane will not descend now, but descend when it's meant to. Follow the constraints. There's a good plane. Or don't. <laughs> no, don't descend now. Don't descend now, plane. No. Go back, go back, go back. Okay. Gonna have to hit that button when we get nearer. Nearly descended into the hills there. The hills were alive to the sound of A320 roaring through it. I tell you what, I'm loving the experience of being in the 320 uh, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator now that Shane fixed it for me. Mm. You know what it was that was causing most of the crashes? What? And the, and the bad frame rates and God knows what else. The refresh rate on my monitor. Oh, right. Because I've got a 4K monitor. And it's pushing out the refreshes at 144. As soon as we dropped it back down to 60. Boom. World of difference. Yeah. So much better. Now I've got scenery for this airport. So. We will see how that looks. Whether it's a good scenery or not. And if these sceneries are good, guys. So we had scenery for Copenhagen. And now we've got scenery for Oslo. So if these scenery airports are good, I will put the link in the description for you. For you to download. They're both, basically both on Flight Sim TO. I see that Flight Sim TO is going to start doing X-Plane 12 now. Is it? Yeah, when it launches. Mm. I don't know why he's waiting, really. He might as well just start putting the X-Plane 11 on there. Yeah, I wish he would. It would be handy, because it would be like one stop place to go, wouldn't it? Because the forums is just so cluttered, as I said to you yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's an absolute cluster. You know, if you want a livery for a specific place, you're better off to Google it. And then go from the Google link into the forum. Otherwise, it's literally... Yeah, hunting I for it. I don't even thought a forum was a good place to download links. No. Well, exactly. It should have its own proper website, shouldn't it? For downloads. But no. The, for the, the forum is where it's all at.
the annoying part now is excuse me if I was in X plane 12 right uh, sorry X plane 11 right now there'd be no snow on the ground yeah and that's what really lets down X plane I wish I could mash the two together have no all my access to X plane <laughs> no it doesn't no it absolutely doesn't um, if I could we mash, can't fly to Antarctica, then. I know, right? If I could mash X Plane 12, no, X Plane 11, with Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'd be the happiest bunny in the world. Right, let's. I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking to put some devices on, you know. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably a good idea. I think by default now they're switched off, but I'm gonna put them on as the fuel is not an issue we still got 2,000 tons of it we have burnt off half a ton but as we're making our dis our turn now towards Tilla, is someone speaking? I said okay. morning oh it's morning, what, what do you mean morning? it's like 10 past 2 in the afternoon well, I only woke up so I know you're in Ireland but the hour difference don't count there's no hour difference between us it's, oh my it's 14 11 for me right now that's what I just said. The hour difference <laughs> doesn't count. Yes, we're recording this, so please don't say anything more inappropriate than has already been said by Adam. Right. Don't I say Buck or Fogger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already discussed his ex-partner that was a bit over-ambitious. And could you look at DMs if that was possible? No. But I will look. But not now, not when I'm coming into land. Oh yeah, whenever you land. Oh wait. Will you do? Sure. Will you do me a thumbnail, please, sweet cheeks? Yeah, and then I can get this thing in return. Perfect. It needs, the, in this thumbnail, it needs both X plane 11 and X plane 12. Yeah. And yeah. it needs to be like around the world for the around the world series, because now what we're doing is we're do using you mean both. X plane 11 and Microsoft Flight Sim. What did I say? X plane 11 and X plane 12. Yeah, so you know what I meant. Right, we're going to start our descent down to 5,000 feet. I hope we've got enough height to do so. Right, we're doing it anyway. Then it's 4,000 feet, then 3,500 feet. The ILS has already been picked up, which is nice. UNH uh, is 991, so don't forget when you change to, to that QNH, you're going to drop out of the sky. Yeah, I'm just changing it now. What is it? QNH Zero is not. 0991. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> there it goes. 0999. No, 0991. Okay. There we go. We dropped a little bit, not a lot. About a thousand feet. <laughs> 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 Just a thousand feet. It. And we're down we're down to two ten, so we're all good. Uh has Sean left already. He's muted. Of course he is. <laughs> oh bless him. Probably a good thing. It certainly won't be missed. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. I put ice. I put the wing ice now on it. It says ice not detected. <laughs> yeah, it will do any when you land there. Yeah. We'll go through a cloud, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh. Do 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 do. I'm dreading this landing with the way my takeoff was. Oh, hello, baby cat. You come for a little stroke? Yeah. Took him out today in the garden. He loved it. Oh. He doesn't. He doesn't really go out there because he's not ready yet. He's not had his jabs. 
I'm not confident enough to take him out there yet. Mm. Right, so the next descent will be three thousand, well, four thousand, and then three thousand five hundred. So let's set that up, and then we'll be intercepting the ILS. So we're doing all good. We're doing good, good. So keep the descent on as we're reaching. Uh, what's the name? A little bit high now, so I'm just going to stop the descent. Just for a moment, I just don't want it to descend any more. Keep it there. Okay, we've gone past, so let's stop the descent. Yeah, just, just hold the descent. Thank you. I don't know what the altitude is like down here. Don't want to get too low too soon. Let's just climb him back up a little. Guessing that may be why the buzzer's going off. Although it says terrain radar not working in op. No. Yeah, it's not working anymore. It used to. But they I broke it. it. Yeah, they must have done. Now. Well, the good news is I've picked up the ILS. Bad news is I'm still too high. I'm just going to start my descent now down to three and a half thousand. There we go. We're fine, we're all good. Okay, let's get the speed off. 119. Are you far behind me? Um, no, I'm not that far behind you, really. Good, good. Just coming up to the tip left. Yeah, you are literally just behind me then. I've just cleared Titler. Let's have a quick squeezy my squeeze outside. As we're uh, coming, in. as we're coming in now. Okay. Well, on the approach, just in case. Cat 2 on, but we're now turning towards the runway, so we'll now go flappy 1 and flappy 2. We might be going a bit fast for flappy 2, but we'll see. Might be alright actually. And bring the speed off to 180, then 170. There we go. Lining up with the runway now. We'll go up and get our landing lights on. Oh, they were already on. Couldn't be me. Okay, we're intercepting the ILS guys. We're looking good. Okay, we're locked onto the ILS. And we're starting our descent on the glide slope. Nice. Okay, right, let's get the landing gear down. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Check. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Okay, 
not really in the pea soup here. But we are starting to clear it as we come down. 2,500. 2,500. Okay. <coughs> okay, looking good. Looking good. Seven miles out. this thing doing? Oh my god, what are you doing? Stay on approach. I don't want you to do anything but stay on approach. Thank you. No, I twisted the wrong knobs. Yes, I said that. Wrong okay. of my name. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, cool. We've, we've sorted now. Just trying to get a nice angle for you guys. Right. Sorry about that, I'm back. <sighs> We're just coming into I'm just coming into land, so let me concentrate. Uh, flaps can come down to full. Well, that's flap three. Flap four. Okay. Runway is coming into sight now. Four mile final. What's the bet? What's the minimum speed on this, mate? Uh, flaps four. Probably about 140, I think, something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get that down to 140. We're getting that. I've got all these lovely buttons that work on this sim. Okay, cool. Flying right into the sun. Lovely. Yeah. Always a low, low on the horizon in winter. Indeed. Indeedy, indeedy. Right. Okay, I've got runway in sight. One thousand. One thousand check. Let's go over to Yoke Cam. There we go. I'll see you on the other side, guys. Okay, airplane, you are mine. Okay. Autopilot off. Keep the descent nice and steady with the dis All you want to do is just keep the descent going nicely. Rush the trees as we come in. They like that. Too red, too white. 500. No. 500 check. 400. 400. 300 200 Oh, come on, down you come, baby A long runway, thankfully 100 Very snowy looking runway 50 40 30 20 10. Come on. Five. There we go. Oh, stay on the runway, stay on the runway. We go. We oh my word. Oh my, I've got to fix these control, these controls. Nice landing, but skidded straight off the side of the runway. Oh dear. I mean, like I've got full lock on here, and that's just wrong. I've definitely got to fix these these controls. I'm like coming off the runway here. I'm right behind you. Yeah, this this tiller thing is not working. I'll just get off this cross this grass here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see here, people. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix these controls. I've literally got full right turn on the, on my yoke. And my foot pedal down. And it's, it's not going straight at all. I'm 
happening until I know. Okay. It doesn't do this in the other sim, so I don't know why it's doing it in this one. But there is something I'm just going to check, guys. Before I park it, because if it's going to be, if it's this, I'm going to really curse myself. That I haven't got this plane in the right setting. Hold on. Uh, control options. And I'm wondering if it's this. But I can't see it's this. But let's have a look. Light yoke. Cessna. Default. No, there's Cessna and default. Um, this is for the CRJ, but that's working anyway. I don't I don't know. It's something I'm gonna have to look at. Uh apply and save. Go back, resume. Because that was horrid. Um look why why is it steering in the opposite direction to the way it's meant to be turning? But that that seems to be the issue. It's in reverse. Hmm. I mean, I'm, that should be left and that should be right, but I'm doing it in total reverse from each other's foot pedal. So, okay, well, at least that's some inclination um, of a problem that n they need to be in reverse, but just on this plane. So, cool. Right, let's go out quickly and see. Are you landed yet? Please tell me you haven't. Yeah, I'm tucked into the gates. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> My I've got was a bit more successful than yours. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, that was not pretty. That's for sure. But I'll fix the uh, things that are not working. I'll get them working. I'll get them sorted. Uh, we'll probably myself and uh, Adam. We'll probably have a look at it now while we're finished this video uh, and also sort out replays for this video as well, uh, for future videos on Microsoft Flight Simulator so yeah got that to come we'll get that we'll get that sorted guys so okay we're in Oslo and this is the Oslo scenery um, it's quite pretty yeah, let's go to the showcase and have a look we might as well at least do this. Um, have a look around while we're here. That's our learning colleague coming in. No, you can't, no. I just best guessed it. Amazing, that beautiful scenery here. The nice airport as well. I imagine in summer it would look epic, this one. I mean, even in winter it looks nice with the snow. Let me just turn these cameras off so that you can see the full screen and this thing. the two of us here. A beautiful scenery though. Lots of capacity at Oslo for sure. Right then guys, we'll leave it there. And um I will be back in a few days with another video, well tomorrow, and um, keep, an, keep an eye on the channel because there will be some live streams coming up as well, um, and enjoy the rest of your day, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, would very much be appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one.